Chelsea finally completed the signing of Kai Havertz. Mm. Your thoughts? Uh, he's a player that plays in the number 10 role. That's the way I think he would play for Chelsea. He's somebody that glides across the ground. He's a very good passer of the ball. I would liken him to Meza Ozil when he was at his very best. Um, I've not always seen him dominate games. He drifts in and out of games. But he I think just it, turned 21. Yeah, I, mean, I, think on, he, yeah. I think he's going to get better. I think he's going to be an outstanding player. But he has to play in that number 10 role or slightly to the right-hand side. But you're not quite as convinced, are you? No, no, no. Okay. I mean, let me clarify this because I, I wasn't convinced that, mm. that this deal was going to happen. And part of the reason was I, I spoke to somebody at Chelsea or was mm. familiar with it at the start of the summer when he was being heavily linked. And what didn't, and what I was told was that he was not a priority, that mm. they were going to sort out their defense first um, and the goalkeeping. And at the time, Bayer Leverkusen, if you remember, they were asking for 130 million euros. You know, that's yeah. like Jaden Sancho type money. And it seemed that like you had this continuous drip of information coming from the Leverkusen build mm. camp over there. And so what I was told was Chelsea are only going to get them on their terms, mm. you know, if they think this deal is too good to pass up. And I think it fits into that. Because what's curious is the transfer fees, right? We have very reliable people in Germany and in England who are reporting very different mm. transfer fees, right? In Germany... Mind you, that's quite often the case. Well, it is, because it often depends who you're talking yeah. to, right? So in Germany, they were talking 80 million euros plus 20 million euros in add-ons and mm -hmm. bonuses. Um, you know, people are putting out their... Which would be know, too much for Kai Havertz at the Around moment. 90 million pounds. Well, it's too much when there's no auction. Mm. When the guy wants to leave, the guy's agreed terms with the club, there's no other bidder. It didn't make sense to me. Was here in, here in England, for example, um, Matt Law, the, the, the Telegraph, who's, who's very tight on, on, on Chelsea things, he, you know, he came out and he said 62 million uh, pounds plus 8 million in bonuses. So mm. that is a pretty big gap. It would, I'd say, it would fit with mm. my information. Um... I think Chelsea view this as we're accumulating assets here. This is not somebody who is central to our plans. We would be comfortable without him. Mm -hmm. But at that price, we have to get him because he's going to have an upside because yeah. he's a tremendous talent. He only has an upside if he plays week in, week out and plays well. He does and he doesn't. I mean, what what I mean is I think there's a lot of reasons to, to look at him and actually say, mm -hmm. you know what, he's a bit of a project. He's a little green. Mm -hmm. He started very young. You know my thoughts mm. on, on Peter Boss at Bayer Leverkusen. Mm. I don't think he's the greatest coach or player developer in the world. Mm. I think that's a bit of an understatement. Havertz was used all over last, yep. last season. right? He, he's, he played as a center forward. He played wide. He played as an attacking midfielder. It looks to me like Chelsea are already pretty much stocked in those positions mm. where they don't necessarily need him. Because you talked about him playing in the hole, right? Well, yep. Ziyech can play in the hole. Yeah, um, Mason, Mason Mount, Mount can play in the hole. Yeah, in fact, you could argue Barkley could do exactly the same. Yeah, maybe not as well. Not but, as well, but they're, so, they're the players that have been playing in that position. Exactly. So you have a lot of options there, and if mm. you're talking about playing um, uh, playing him on the right, again, you've got Ziyech, uh, you've got Callum Hudson Odoi who can mm. play in that position. Um, Pulisic, I'm sure, could switch flanks if yeah. if, if necessary. Um, and at centre forward, you've got Timo, Tammy, and Ollie. Yeah, and maybe even Michi. Uh, although I, I assume he's going on loan. So. I kind of saw it that way. I think at that price, I think it makes sense because, you know, that is, I think, a good price where a guy is going to have an upside. And But I think it just goes to show that when you, when you report on the transfer market, right, clubs don't like to show their hands. And sometimes you get a little bit suspicious. I, I think Leverkusen were hoping to generate uh, an auction in them, mm. and then it never happened. Um, I would have thought at that price you'd, you'd have, you know, Manchester United. Obviously, they mm. went for Fonda Bake instead. You, Manchester City. I mean, who wouldn't but want? The, but that's what a talent what, like that. But when I watch Kai Havertz last season, he's not doesn't dominate games enough. He plays well. He drifts in and out of games. He provides a pass. He go past someone with the ball. But he's and, so young. Though. But he's so young. But he's but and that skill set is pretty unusual because you you liken him to Ozil, but yeah, Ozil is a little fella. This guy is six foot two. Yeah. But he, he's not going to burst past people, though. He's not going to be a counter-attacking player. He's going to be a player that, in and around the box, he's going to create. He's going to play those little balls down the side, probably for Timo Werner to make his runs. So he's a good talent, but I'd like to see him dominate games. If you're going to play in that number 10 role, you've got to dominate games. You've got to be a real influence on the match. So when I look at Chelsea right now, and I ask myself, who is guaranteed a start 
in this team um, in midfield and attack. I mean, we'll, we'll get to the back a little later. Hmm. I would have thought the only guy who you would assume would be an automatic choice would be N'Golo Conte. Yeah. And yet, weirdly, N'Golo Conte really heavily, heavily linked to Inter Milan. And it seems that Antonio Conte realizing yeah. that, oh, if I, if I tantrum, they get yeah. me the things I want, yeah. right? Yeah, um, yeah. And, and if you look at uh, Conte's record, when he defends well and when he's fully fit, it makes the defense so much more, uh, so much better. And everybody was talking about Chelsea's poor defensive record last season. Yes, they made some mistakes defensively, but it's also about the midfield players you got in front of them. Are they uh, athletic enough? Phil, Can they work? He's hard 29. Enough? If you're Chelsea, you can't think about letting him no, go. No, absolutely not. He's key to everything they do. If you've got attacking players like Ziyech on one side and Pulisic on the other, and Kai Havertz playing in there, Timo Werner up front, and you haven't got any other sort of defensive midfield players apart from Jorginho, who's a passer rather than a defender, you've got to have Conte in your side to defend that back three or back four whatever they're going to play with. What I find interesting is that we don't know what formation Frank's going to play because he's played a back three, uh, he's played a, he's played 4-3-3, three, three, he's played 4-2-3-1, he's played 3-4-3. Three, three. I look at this and because you only, I think you're only 100% starters are, are Conte, maybe Espiliqueta, maybe. I'm not sure. But, but even anymore. then you're not sure. Yeah. I think it's Conte and Chilwell. Yeah. Two and, all, yeah, because nobody else. Yeah, they're is the it, two players. Yeah. It's guaranteed to start. And I would say okay, Timo Werner. Will I would long. say Timo Werner will play most of the games. Not if Pulisic plays, and occasionally you need a big striker. And you, I mean, it's. I, ca I ca can't have Olivier okay. Giroud in the side. And I, I can't have Tammy <laughs> Abraham at the moment. If, if you've got Timo Werner, he has to be the centre forward. He's got to play through right. the middle. Yes, he'll drift wide at times, but he's got to be right. one of the main. It'll be players. fascinating to see how this one, uh, how this one shakes out. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.